All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a review of a product from the Dauntless Modern Grooming Company. You guys might recognize this as coming from Modern Man TV. Shout out to Mike. Definitely respect his work. Production quality is like off the charts. So as with the pump, we're just gonna try and review everything that's out there in the market. But today we're gonna to be reviewing their matte paste. So this is essentially what I was kind of excited to try. A matte paste is usually like a, a very versatile product where it's super dry, provides a lot of hold with a matte finish, and it just kind of works with a lot of different hairstyles and hair lengths. So it's basically like button mashing for your hair. You get from the product description, you're going to get um, a matte finish, high texture and robust hold. You can apply it to towel dried hair or dried hair but just reading it, you're gonna have to use a blow dryer for maximum results. So today, got a blow dryer. We're gonna be doing the usual. We're gonna take a look at the jar, the design of it, application process, my initial thoughts, see how it kind of lasts throughout the day, even though not doing much in terms of like going out and working and all that. My final thoughts, and then just basically that's it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the jar. Taking a look at the jar, we see that it comes in a plastic four ounce container with aluminum top. We have the label printed with all the information we need, ingredients, directions, contact information, the hold strength, and then the finish. Other than that, it's a very standard design. This is very reminiscent of what I remember Axe being very similar, or this being very similar to Axe where a lot of the presentation is in a very dark black. And then what kind of distinguishes each product within that line was a certain colorway. So for instance, this one, it's got this like olive green on, I guess all the coloring is like metallic minus the black. So that's what we have. It's fairly straightforward. Um, I guess the presentation wise, it's just a very like blocky kind of design. But other than that, I guess what modern means is just sharp and sleek. So let's go ahead and take a look at application process. Opening the jar. Just reading from the product description line, it says that this is their fearless um, signature scent. There's a diff, there's a, a, definitely a lot of different notes in there. But just to put it short on how I perceive it, it's a very light cologne kind of scent. Definitely not on the heavier, like muskier side. It's more of like a light, refreshing cologne. Reminds me of the 1950s. Um, is it the texturizing clay or like the matte paste as well? It's got that like kind of clean scent, but at the same time, it's not like a box of detergent clean if that makes sense so it's still got still got like some kind of muskiness to it but a very 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 light one all right so let's go ahead and apply it and see what we get so for this review i'm just gonna test it initially without the blow dryer show you guys what it looks like with the blow dryer and then that's pretty much it so scooping it out let's see if you guys can see this as with most matte paste, it's fairly creamy. Pretty thick, but not super watery. That kind of translates to a lot of hold. Spreading around, <clears throat> a little bit of resistance, but that's just from the dryness of the waxes and the clays, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty dry of a product, so good luck to those who are applying to dry hair. AKA me right now. So always, this is going to be the worst part. A little bit of tugging, a little bit of resistance, but given that the product has a few types of clays and waxes in it, that's kind of to be expected. So as you guys see, this is with the initial kind of scoop. This is about one scoot's worth 
you get a very like relaxed kind of natural finish. I'm going to go with two just so that we can see what maximal kind of performance this product has. So definitely matte shine so far. Pretty good hold. The dryness definitely keeps everything under control. Um, a little bit of strays here and there, but this is more for like a natural look. So can't really expect a super slick look. So right off the bat, just applying that extra scoop has definitely weighed the hair down a little bit. And when I was like, say it weighs down the hair, that just means that it's gonna provide a lot more control and hold. So it kind of keeps everything in place. All right. Cool. So this is finger combing it, as you guys see. This is a really bad haircut, but with the top of the hair, you guys see that it's very stylable, easily moldable and placeable to wherever you wanna like kind of put your hair. The finger comb lines look fairly natural, strays here and there, but overall pretty solid. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do with the freaking blow dryer, but I'm gonna try it out anyways. So my initial impressions of what the blow dryer does is that it definitely makes it a lot lighter in your hair. Basically evaporates every, I don't even know if it has water in this still. Let me check. I'm sure is there some kind of like water in the product essentially is now evaporated, leaving behind this like super kind of dry look. Get a little bit more of like a hold, like high hold out of it. But for me, I think I lost like a little bit of control since things are kind of heated and like I, what I see it as melted. So it doesn't have that like crazy amount of control that we just saw with the finger comb. So let's see if the hair cooling down slightly will provide anything. So it's like a very light product. If you guys see the hair is like very poofy in that regard. So as you guys know, I don't really like going with this kind of style, but just to give you guys an idea of what the product actually can do, here you guys go. This is pretty solid. So we're gonna revert back to the finger comb. Cool. So initial thoughts, definitely a very solid product. It's performing as expected. Um, Definitely did not expect the whole blow drying thing just because I don't really use blow dryer where the product kind of softens up a lot after using the blow dryer, but everything's just still there minus like the control of it. Again, if you're going more for like a super natural look, definitely a blow dryer would give that where it kind of like eliminates all shine and kind of that rigidness that you would get from like a super slick product. So what I get from finger combing is what I kind of desire more. So let's go ahead and get throughout the day and then we'll see how it lasts. See you guys in a bit. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. We got essentially end result, very similar to many other matte paste. From my experience, what happens with matte paste is that it kind of disintegrates throughout the day, leaving you with like a very light, very, kind of loose style. So if you guys take a look, it's like super soft. So restyling it is not necessarily like crazy possible. You can still kind of fix things up, kind of like tame down the strays. But in terms of having that initial grip and initial control, it's no longer there, but things are still held in place. So that's a good sign. The shine at this point is still a matte. The product essentially I have no sense of it in terms of like weight in my hair. Scent is gone. 
that's pretty much it. It's like a very solid matte paste. Um, definitely a stronghold if you're going to be using two scoops. One scoop is going to be a much more like looser styling process. And then for me, as you guys saw, blow drying it had a weird effect of just making it like a lot floofier and just, I don't know, softer and looser and just like, it's just not my style. So I'm going to disregard the blow drying part. I just wanted to show you guys just to show you guys. So next we're either going to do the sheer revival Amity spray or continue with the Dauntless grooming products. Um, I mean, the only other one I have is the tribute like standard pomade. So depends on my mood. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. All right. Peace out guys.